and we welcome you to this special prayer this morning, Saturday the 2nd of March. And we dedicate all of this day in honour of Mother Mary, the Mother of God. And we pray for peace and unity amongst all beliefs. So as we gather in the name of love, we light our candle for global peace and interspiritual unity. In the name of our beloved Father, Mother God, who creates life in the name of the risen cosmic Christ who loves life in the name of the spirit who is the fire of life in the name of Gaia who is the earth mother that nurtures the creation of all divine life the name of all faith traditions who are the beloved sons and daughters of divine life we celebrate our spiritual diversity by honoring the Supreme in all life. And now we begin with our prologue of our brother and sister Essenes of Mount Sinai. We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the Heavenly Father, Mother God, the Earthly Mother, and all the great masters, and reverence to the holy, pure, and saving teaching reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Saturday morning we commune with the earthly mother saying, the earthly mother and I are one. She gives me the food of life to my entire body. When you have completed these words, you contemplate edible fruits, grains or plants, and feels the currents of the earthly mother flowing in you and intensifying and directing the metabolism of your body. Let us be still now in the presence of God. And now we use the office for Saturday, but in Franciscan tradition we dedicate it in honor of Mother Mary. O oh God, come to my aid, O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary crowned with living light, temple of the Lord, place of peace and holiness, shelter of the Word, mystery of sinless life in our fallen race, Free from shadow you reflect plenitude of grace. Virgin Mother of our God, lift us when we fall, who were named upon the cross, Mother of us all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, heaven sings your praise. Mary magnifies your name through eternal days. The first antiphon, blessed are you, Mary, the salvation of the world came from you. Now you rejoice in glory in the presence of the Lord. Intercede for us with your Son. Alleluia. And now we read Psalm 91. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night. On the ten-stringed lyre and the, on the lute with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works! How deep are your designs! The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot remember. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are constantly on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox strength. You anoint me with the purest of oil. 
My eyes looked in triumph on my foes, my ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree, and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Let us pray the Gloria together. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Mary. The salvation of the world came from you. Now you rejoice in glory, in the presence of the Lord, intercede for us with your Son. The second Antiphon, you are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the joy of Israel. You are the highest honor of our race. And now we read a canticle from the book of Deuteronomy. Listen, O heavens, and I will speak. Let the earth hear and the word be on my lips. May my teaching fall like the rains, my speech descend like the dew, like raindrops on the young green, like showers falling on the grass. For I shall praise the name of the Lord, or give glory to this God of ours. The rock, his deeds are perfect, and all his ways are just. A faithful God without deceit, a God who is right and just. Those whom he begot unblemished have become crooked, false, perverse. Is it thus you repay the Lord, O senseless and foolish people? Is he not your father, mother, God, who created you, he who made you, on whom you depend? Remember the days of old. Consider the years that are past. Ask your father, and he will show you. Ask your elders, and they will tell you. When the Most High gave the nations their heritage and disposed men according to his plan, in fixing the boundaries of the nations, he thought first of Israel's sons. For Israel was the Lord's possession, Jacob the one he had chosen. God found him in a wilderness, in fearful, desolate wastes. He surrounded him, he lifted him up, he kept him as the apple of his eye. Like an eagle that watches its nest, that hovers over its young. So he spread his wings, he took him, placed him on his outstretched wings. The Lord alone was his guide, and no other God was with him. And now we pray, glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the joy of Israel. You are the highest honor of our race. And the third antiphon, Rejoice always, Virgin Mary. You were found worthy to bear Christ the Savior. And now we read Psalm 8. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens. On the lips of children and of babes you have found praise to fall your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arrange, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him yet you have made him little less than a god with glory and honor you crowned him 
gave him power over the works of your hands, put all things under his feet, all of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Rejoice always, Virgin Mary. You were found worthy to bear Christ the Savior. And now we have a short reading from the prophet Isaiah. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, my soul shall exult in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with robe of righteousness, as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. And now we say the Benedictus, the door of paradise was closed to all men and women, because of the sin of Eve, it has been opened again by the Virgin Mary. Lord, we come before you this new day, and we give thanks for all that you do for us. We thank you even for the problems that we encounter here on live stream, where the connection can be problematic, where the sound can disappear, or where the screen freezes. We just offer all of this to you, and we just praise and bless you for a channel that allows us to connect with brothers and sisters in different time zones around the world. We ask you to bless all gathered here today. I ask your blessing. I ask your blessing on Lindsay, who's joined us this morning, and we give thanks for prayers answered for Lindsay, for Mary in Blackpool, for all the brothers and sisters of the Teo community and the members of Heart to Soul Prayer Partners for Peace. We pray for Gloria and her dear friend Michael, who's very poorly in a hospice in Canada. We pray for our sister Eleanor, who is quite poorly with the Novovirus in Philadelphia. We pray for dear Elizabeth, who's caring for her. We pray for all the brothers and sisters who've asked our prayer in the community, trusting in Almighty God. We pray for all who need our prayer today, for all who are hungry and suffering on every level, be it mind, body or spirit. We pray for all those who are struggling with cancer, we pray for dear brother Rob, who at this very moment is driving down to Manchester to support and befriend a dear friend who recently had surgery for cancer and whose biopsies come back quite challenging with a great four growth. So we pray for our dear sister Jane, who begins four months of chemotherapy next week. So we pray that God will lay his healing hand on our dear friend and on all men and women who are battling with cancer today. Lord, we thank you for your love and your support. We pray for all who need healing. We pray for all who have no one to pray for them. We pray for our elderly, infirm, homeless, vulnerable, street children, those in prison, those who are battling with mental illness today. We pray for peace in the hearts of all God's children and for peace in the world. We pray for young moms who are trying to cope with the recession and manage a young family but who are struggling 
we pray today for all of the men and women who have consecrated their lives to God in different faiths, who may be battle-weary, who may be struggling or suffering. Be with all of us, Lord. And now we pray this morning for Anastasia and her daughter Dawn. We pray that healing will be continuous for dear Dawn, who had a stroke, and as a young mom with a family, it must be difficult for her. So we send Dawn all our love. And we pray especially especially for young children who are vulnerable to predators. Let us hold the whole family of God. Let us hold this beautiful channel despite all its problems with connections and sound. And let us give thanks to God for allowing us to use this medium to be able to connect with other souls of like mind around the world and form a chain of prayer for the whole family of God. Now let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Mother, God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will, not ours, be done this day. Forgive us our faults, our failings. Forgive us for the times when we allowed despair rule our heart. Forgive us for not listening to you. For in the silence and stillness, we know that you touch us and fill us with hope. Lead us not astray today, but deliver us from the clutches of evil. As, as we begin a new day in service to love. Let us pray. As with... Ah, Lord, open our hearts to your grace. Through the angel's message to Mary, we have learned to believe in the incarnation of Christ your Son. Lead us by his passion and cross, to the glory of his resurrection. Amen. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, we pray this morning the final Celtic blessing, the blessings of heaven, the blessings of earth, the blessings of sea and sky, on those we love this day, and on every human family, the gifts of heaven, the gifts of earth, the gifts of sea and sky, the gifts from Brother Sun and Sister Moon, be in their hearts and yours, now and forevermore. Amen. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of morning prayer for Saturday the 2nd of March, and I wish you a beautiful day, a peaceful day. So let us celebrate our love of the Supreme by blessing this channel, and we pray that God will send us more presenters for Gaia's Vigil, and that God will touch many lives through the love that they share with all of us. So we say Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Paxet Bonam Om Shanti, Solo di Caritas, Peace, and thank you for joining me.